Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So, in today's one, before the beavers get too far ahead of themselves, let us send them to the other district that we have. And yeah, I've managed to take down a few trees, but quickly, let's just send them over before we look through everything. I think we have enough jumps for at least 16 beavers. That should be the case, right? and maybe even two more but that's okay that's a good starting point right so what we have done so far is we've uh, quite a few levees not any uh, dams just yet but a couple of them are already in and with the rest as well it shouldn't take us too long since we do have this dam here and the loggers are cutting down as many trees as they can just to clear up this space and in the future we can plant some more trees now <laughs> where shall we head first let's have a look uh, let's pause this real quick so we can have a few more frames well the water seems to be almost empty in here so why don't we just i uh, think we can pretty much drop everything in here right yeah let's just top it up all the way to zero so that is all good now i know in the previous episode i talked about having this large metal platform uh, and mirror it on this side but then i realized that the ground is actually one level lower than it is on the other side so that's a little bit unfortunate however we can still do the same height just up the hill over here so what i've done in preparation for that we've got a few extra what is it large water tanks and these ones are being emptied now so yeah let's uh clear this space up and then we'll build this little tower section in here when it comes to metal how many do we have in this district here? Well, 200, 300 short, but, you know, over time, we'll get it completed. And, yeah, the goal essentially is to get this tower in here. Once we have the corner bit in, then this section here as well, we can just, um, just, yeah, build some levees. And, therefore, we should have space more for more water in the future. Okay, so that is great. Now, having a look over here. Yeah, it seems they've done... Uh, let me hide the water. They've done quite a few dynamites already. So we can just detonate a few of them. And I think this whole corner can go... Same with you. Oh, actually. This might be a... Uh, this might be a bit of a problem, but let's see. Are you able to access this? Yeah, oh, okay, so we are fine, actually. Well, that's good. And we can drop another level. Oh, we do need a dynamite. Uh, never mind, actually. Let's not put it down just yet. We'll give them a bit more access. I'm not sure how they're going to be able to reach that side over there. Maybe another road will help us. Okay, and we'll get rid of that tree as well. What about this section? Uh, let's give it a try. Okay, so I guess we'll have to climb up on uh, here. Maybe we'll, we'll do something like that. Okay, so that should be fine. Everything else seems okay so far as well. Now, moving on to our temple district. Don't think we still have a name for this. No, we don't. Okay. So, I'm not gonna do a poll this time, or a vote. If you would like to name this district, then you have a great idea. Just drop it in the comments, we'll choose one together, and maybe after the release of this video, maybe give it a couple of days, I'll choose the one that has the most likes, and we'll give it a proper name as well, because it is slowly starting to come together. And uh, Nothing too fancy, but it's nice and cozy, so yeah, we've just... Uh, Put so many dynamites into this whole area as well which does remind me we can probably queue up some more i mean yeah hmm no we have a whole lot in here right now so let's leave it at that let us move this district center so we can reach all the way or actually have access to this whole area in here now for that you're already in red but that's okay i guess if we put you somewhere here yeah, we should still be fine. I'm hoping at least. It would be a real shame if we lose access to this temple, but I guess it's just a bit of a trial and error and see what happens. We should have access to all those upper levels, 
I am a little afraid that we might even lose access to these warehouses here. Do we have anything in them? Uh, let's see, how far can we go? So maybe a few tiles. That might be a little too far, but that is the place or, or the spot where I'd like to have that district center. So maybe we have to do a bit of preparation here. And because this is the access road, how about... Uh, let's resume the time, actually. it's uh, Yeah, we can, we can leave it be. Drop off points. We can do... Let's see. We can do a few in... Now, this is nice grass area. And this is the road down. Okay, so how about one, two, three over here. Bread and grilled potatoes going to this one. So if we take the grilled potatoes and bread out. Now, you have... How many? Oh, actually, you don't have a lot of food in there. Whereas you have tons of bread and quite a few grilled potatoes. So I think it would be smart if we change this over. Uh, we'll send some bread from here. And also, let's see, grilled potatoes. There we go. Okay, so that route is now gone. Blanks. Who's producing more? You're not so many. You've got tons, right? Yeah, okay. Well, you're sending pretty much everything over at this. Uh, logs we can leave, but let's take out... Let's see. Okay, so let's empty you. You're getting explosives and blanks. So blanks is removed. Let's do explosives explosives and blanks in, from here. And there we go. Add another... Where do we have explosives? Uh, I think it's somewhere. There we go. And we also need it blanks okay sorted now okay so you're not receiving those anymore what about you what are you getting logs metal blocks and paper Ooh, that's a lot of things so first of all logs you can go there and we had metal blocks and paper metal blocks and paper let's take you out and we'll put you here metal blocks and one more We'll have paper as well. Okay, so that should be sorted now. Uh, where is the water going though? We are sending water, but I don't think we need to send any more water because we are bumping it ourselves now. So let's take you... Ooh, that's a bit scary. But yeah, let's, let's take you off. So that's done. And hopefully we can perhaps empty them out. Get rid of them. And what about you? You are holding blanks. So if we remove you... And now the blanks could go. Uh, you're holding explosives and two blanks in here as well. So yeah, please get this empty. Do we have any haulers? No, we do not. And maybe a slightly high priority. Let's get rid of a few builders. And once you are emptied, then uh, yeah, I think we're good. This should be within range once we move the district center. Uh, wait a second. Did we? Yes, we did. Oh, dear. That is a lot of hungry and thirsty beavers. And you're all just sleeping over here, right? Yeah, just uh, go back home. It's fine. It's okay. And just look at the sheer amount of dynamites we've already put in here as well. That is pretty crazy. But we'll uh, let them crack on with the rest. And once it's done, then we'll, you know, just detonate them all at once. Okay, coming back here. How is stuff going? How many viewers do we have in here? We have 10 plus 2. Okay, so if we... Do you know what? Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. And where are you? District center. Actually, that was supposed to be Iron Teeth one, right? Let's swap you over. We'll put you there. And the range we have... Oh, we don't even have range for this one. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, I guess it's gonna have to be a little bit closer for the time being. I don't think we need this road here anymore. And this might be enough space. So let's try again in here. Okay, so that means you still have access in to everything that we need. Uh, they won't be able to build this either. Oh dear. Okay. Change of plans once again, everyone. We're gonna stick you back in here. And the reason being, I'd like those dynamites to be done first. Yep. I think that's what we should do. Uh, give you the highest priority for all of this stuff in here. And once it's done, we'll be good. So we have 8, but maybe we'll send over... <laughs> District 28, migrate, 
That's two den beavers. Or maybe 12. Yep, that should be fine. And you have zero. There is one homeless or jobless. Nine homeless, actually. Okay, so maybe a couple of those beavers jumped into this district here. Maybe. Anyways, have you all had some food already? No, there's a couple still running around like crazy. But you know what? You've had enough time. We shall, because the rainy season is starting soon. I really want to get this thing built in here. Yep, let's do that. We still have a few logs. And maybe these should be the highest of priorities. Or at least the buildings or workplaces. Okay, get this done. Let's hope we don't forget about you. And another quick look in here. I know some of them are transporting right now. Are you able to reach those? Hmm. Okay. They should be able to do some of them. And we can also detonate a couple. Alright. There we go. Not a lot of water in here. But let's see. 6.7 days. I guess we could top you up just uh, just a little bit. 1.5. Is this water still coming through? Yes, it is. So that's filling up very nicely. And I really hope this is being emptied as well. Well, maybe, maybe not. Anyways, now, next up, let's have a look at the armor. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's not bad at all. Couple of it over here. Now, let's address a few of the comments that I suddenly remember from previous episodes. So, a few episodes ago when I built these water wheels, it was pointed out later that power passes through those water wheels and a bit of a baseball moment. You are absolutely correct. I have no idea why I built this whole apparatus around it. I yeah, I guess I just forgot in this moment and thank you so much for pointing it out. I guess at this stage, because it's already built, we can just leave it to remind us our uh, silliness when we were constructing it. So thank you so much for pointing this out and I hope uh, in the future I'll remember that the uh, power does pass through uh, most things in this game. Another one was actually in our last episode and it would be really cool to sort of have buildings inside this pyramid. But the problem with that is, if we do that, that means we we can't put levees on top of them. Because levees can only be built on ground or other levees. I mean, if we go over here, none of the warehouses. Uh, do we have any houses to demonstrate it as well? These are warehouses not working. Uh, that's a warehouse. Oh, there's houses here. Yep, so you can't really place levees on uh, you know anything even with the metal platforms yeah and the main reason is for that because levees don't let water go th through them and in this game you you can't have water let's say below this platform and then above so that's why the levees are not really allowed to be constructed or anything else uh, not to mess with the water physics in this game oh well so be it um, I guess the only option for us is, I mean, we already have so many logs poured into this project over here, so it would be a shame to destroy it, but there is of course always an option to use platforms and other things, but then it, I just feel it wouldn't look as nice as it does right now. But don't get me wrong, I really want to uh, use this space efficiently and have some buildings in here as well, but it just... Uh, don't think it's really possible, unless I'm missing something. I mean, I guess we could use, I don't know, maybe row houses to create the effect of having a filled space compared to platforms. But then we're gonna have all these notifications of uh, of the post houses, like we have the post uh, arch over here. So yeah. Now, the only thing that I can think of how we can make it more interesting is having those little cana- Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that happened again. I uh, sent you to the lake. Migrate. Off you go. I hope you're not sleeping already. No. Okay, so that's great. You can get some food real quick. Right, so the only thing that I can think of is if I make it even wider. And each level, if it becomes at least too wide. Or at least some of them. Then we could create these little canals with water. Or with some other decorations as well. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, there's just so many options that we could do. Um, we could just fill everything with uh, 
with the shrubs to make it look a bit more green. That could be pretty cool actually as well. And maybe only one level where the water passes through, or maybe two. Uh, well, I'll play around with that maybe uh, off camera later and then we'll see what, we'll, what we can come up with. Anyways, let's speed up the time. Let's have a look at uh, what else do we do. Not in the main district. Oh, yes. Let's talk about development in here as well. So I've put some thought into this. And I think the best way to figure out where the main roads are or should be in the future. Um, and even with the district centers as well. Let's... Uh, I think the best way to do this is if we measure out how much reach are we going to have from the corner of the map. So coming off diagonally, or maybe even in straight roads, we will place down the first district in this corner. And I should probably do it in the other corner there as well. And then we can work our way down. I think the lake district that we have in here, that's most likely going to be placed somewhere around this area. So the idea is to really have a range or reach all over this area here. Uh, like a bit of a valley, I suppose, into this lake and these canals most likely or maybe, I don't know, maybe as well. Or maybe not, because we can always pull water from this lake once we deepen it if we want to. And that way we will have access also towards this side. I think most of it if the district center is here. And that means the last district center will have to be... I don't know, maybe somewhere on this island here. So, and that should give us access to most of this lake area. Yeah, that should be um, should be pretty good. But first thing we need is finish this dam over here. Oh dear. How many more logs do we have? 159 and you all take like 20, right? So 10 means 200. How many do we have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, don't have enough. But if we keep cutting those trees down, uh, I mean, 10 will already give us one of those dams. And you ha still have range, right? Well, these ones don't give us a lot, but maybe we do have to send some more logs in here. How about we figure something out in this area? So let's look at the storage real quick. And actually, let's get rid of this road as well. There we go. Right, back to the storages. Log pile. One goes here. Another one goes here. Yep. That should do. Okay, if we fill those up, then we can perhaps keep this area a bit more topped up as well. Yep, let's do let's do that. Now all the beavers, are you ready to go across again? I hope you are. And we can do about 18. Okay, let's send you all over. Gives us quite a few builders. And also got this wood down as well. There are a few more trees. Let's see. That is already enough range. Maybe a couple more. And looking at this side. Oh, those maples are really tasty. Yeah, very tasty. But to get across, we are going to have to build down from somewhere. Uh, blanks. Do we still have blanks in here? Only 14. Okay, so we don't want to waste them. Now, where is going to be the best area to... Well, it's all filled up all the way to the brim. Uh, coming across, that takes quite a lot of logs. Do uh, you know what? So be it. How many? 54%. We'll get this built. Yep, let's do that. Give them access down. And then we'll also start cutting down those maples. I know this tree is in the way. But that is alright. We are just going to... Where is it? Remove you real quick, and then we'll change up some of these logging stations as well. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, beautiful. Now, you guys are still busy with this. Wait, is it already end of the day? Oh dear. Okay, we'll get a few in. Still got 5.5 days. Some logs are coming here as well. I think we should be fine. Let's send you back to the lake district now. Off you go. Oh, we got a few dynamite here as well, actually. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. No, never mind. Let's do this. Okay. 
So a lot more space now. And these stairs, I don't think they're needed anymore. So yeah, we can we can just take them out as well. Okay, good. Uh, cleaned up a little bit. Did we send you back? Yes, we did, right? Okay, they're just putting a few more logs in. That's great. And we're getting a few extra. Not so many, but that's already like two dams at least, which might be might be enough. Now, coming back. Where were we? A few more dynamites. Uh, a bit too far. That's alright though. Alright, so that's lovely. Is the water coming in as well? Yes, it is, but there isn't a whole lot coming through right now. Maybe we'll lower it to 0 0.5. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so you're dry. Beautiful. Let's put you back at, I guess, 5 for starters. And yeah, 5.3 days. Let's have a look at how are you doing with dynamites. Hmm, not too bad. We can give them a bit more access now. I think these are probably the most important ones. Once we get these ones done, we should be pretty good. And I don't want to remove this link because then they won't have access to those ones in there. Uh, we should still have a few builders here, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, only one? Well, that's not a lot. Okay, there we go. A couple more. Get these dynamites done over there. Now, now the day is here, which means we are going to send those beavers back to the construction jobs that we do have in this district. How many logs do we still have? 141. Okay, so if you could build, let's say, five today, another five tomorrow, and we should be done then. Yeah, maybe pause this one because that is not as important. As long as we get the corner bit in, that should be all good. I guess this might not be as important. Uh, you already have logs in there. Right. No goods in stock. So maybe, maybe we pause you. There we go. Grab this last log. We'll get rid of you. We'll put a road here as well. And now what we can do is how far yep that's got pretty good reach over there and just to get a few frames back we'll remove all the bits where they've uh, cut down the trees already oh that's a bit laggy and we do need a road in here as well yes we do okay why is this still not done how many percent no okay you're cutting this down good and you don't really have too much in your range anymore so maybe we'll construct this as quick as we can and you're almost done. All right, road in here. Everyone has access. We're all happy. And please get rid of those maples. Well, maybe not all of those, but we'll definitely take the dead ones first. Okay, cool. Now, another day is almost done. Let's have a quick look at the... Oh, are you not able to reach? No, it seems not. And this is all done now. Okay, fantastic. We can go another level up. And once it's done, we'll just fill up this space in here. Oh, just all these logs. That is absolutely wonderful to see. And yeah, once... Oh, wait a second. We can pause you. Good. And maybe it's time to migrate everyone over again. Uh, dynamites wise... Okay, slow but steady. We still have, oh, only 82 now. Yeah, we've just been using way too many dynamites in our projects. And actually, wait. Oh, I thought they um, managed to finish those. Well, that means water's going through here. That's going to keep it nice and clean. And that means our sort of uh, the project here is now complete. I mean, what we could do... We could put a platform in here. And that way they can still have another three done. But it's not as important. Hmm. Is it? No. Okay, let's take you out. I guess we can now relocate you again. And I kind of don't like how this is in the middle as well. So maybe we take you away and in the future because this road is going very nicely straight through here 
And that's the road that the uh, distributors use as well. So maybe you're gonna be the new main road. And once we know our access, uh, let's see, we can't quite build it. Guess the first stage could be here. Are you still, oh, you don't have anything in there. Okay, so that's good. Explosives, empty, prioritize. And are you, no. Okay, so you're, the middle one's empty. You got bread and grilled potatoes, but I believe the reason why we haven't emptied it is because we don't have really anywhere to put them. Now the houses are here, but I think in the future we'll probably build them maybe even on those cliffs here. Anyways, we can do... Ooh, yeah, it's... Uh, let's see. Nope. Not a good spot. Options. Choices. Decisions. That's really far for them to top it up as well. Uh, let's do it here. Okay, one goes here. I really love this, that we are now finally able to set this stock at nothing. Uh, did we send those beavers back? Oh, we did. Okay, thank you. That is good. Okay, now we do have this not in yet. Definitely have to bring this district center a little bit closer. And maybe another ladder system from here. And once the district center goes here then we should have better access to construct both these sides as well. Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit done in this episode. We are almost at the level where the drought is over. Not too much left to build this wall. And in the next one, this dam will be done over here. We should have a better idea of where the district center needs to go as well. And that's, uh, you know, it's just going to snowball from there, I'm expecting at least. And then we can get the, the lake district center somewhere here. Carry on with the temple pro project as well. You know, maybe even have most of those dynamites in. This will definitely be done. And we'll have this district center move to a better location as well. So yeah, that was a lovely episode. Hope you had fun with us. Thank you very much for joining. And I hope to see you again in the next one. <laughs>